Russia has been terrorizing the Ukrainian energy power grid with massive missile attacks for the fourth month. According to the Energy Research Center, today the shortage of generating capacities in the country is more than 20 percent, and in Kyiv it reaches 40 percent. The last attack caused significant damage. Nine power units of coal-fired power plants were damaged, which is very significant in the face of a shortage of generating capacity, which was already noticeable before. Transformers substations of the Ukraine were also damaged. The restoration of these facilities is currently underway. Despite all the difficulties, Ukrainian power engineers are working literally around the clock to restore the energy system. According to Ukrainerho, electricity transmission system operator, the other day specialists managed to repair a block of a thermal power plant as a result of which electricity production increased in Ukraine. Power engineers are also working on new ways to protect critical infrastructure. We are currently working to restore the generation facilities as soon as possible in order to produce electricity in the maximum possible amount. It is also important to restore power lines and substations that ensure the transmission of electricity from one region to another. Since the previous massive shelling on January 14th, we have added generation to the system and repaired certain substations that make it possible to transmit more electricity. Herman Haushenko, Minister of Energy of Ukraine, on the air of the National Teleson. In April, Ukraine expects to receive equipment that will significantly improve electricity supply and consumers will immediately feel it, analysts say. It takes time for the necessary equipment to arrive. Everything is in process. There is a lot of work on assembly, transportation, a lot of logistical problems and numerous approvals are needed. A lot of huge objects need to be moved. And it's a lot of work. It's in process. The Ukrainian government also works daily with international partners for the supply of power equipment. We we are working to get more generators, transformers and other equipment brought to Ukraine to repair damage. We feel the constant support of foreign friends and our partners in the energy industry. In particular, we plan to purchase power equipment worth more than 100 million euros using the funds of the support for the Energy of Ukraine fund. Of the latest deliveries, there are 45 backup power plants from Azerbaijan and powerful generators for the Chernihiv region, provided by Japan. Ukraine is also developing a new strategy that will provide short and long-term solutions for the renewal and development of the Ukrainian energy sector. Particular attention will be paid to the decentralization of the energy system, which will become less vulnerable. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Vlada Tsurkan, UATV News.